Hey, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I would like to do a review of a university called Southern New Hampshire University. And as you know, if you follow my channel, my reviews are a little bit different because we talk about can you hack this college? Can you earn a bachelor's degree in less than one year and a whole bunch of stuff like that? So if you're wanting to accelerate a college degree, this video is for you. Let's talk about Southern New Hampshire University. So first thing I want to do is jump over to my computer screen. And we're going to walk through a few things. So here's Southern New Hampshire University's website. Now, a couple things here. There are some pros and cons to this school. Now, one of the pros shows up right here on their on their homepage. OK, now you can transfer up to 90 credits to Southern New Hampshire University which means their rule is that you ha only have to finish one year of school through their university to get a degree from their school, okay? Now, for people who want to accelerate degrees through third-party exams like CLEP exams, Sophia.org, study.com exams, straighter line, there are a whole bunch of third-party resources where you can go and earn college credits. This school accepts a lot of transfer credits from those resources up to three years worth. Now, if you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know that there is another way to accelerate college degrees that I prefer. I like accelerating degrees through universities more than through third party exams. It looks cleaner on your transcripts. It's a simpler process. And if the university is structured properly, you can do it really quickly. Now, Southern New Hampshire University used to let you do both ways, okay? They used to have competency-based education programs where you can test out of your classes, and they used to allow all these transfer credits from third-party exam resources. That has changed, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get into that in just a second, but let me talk about a few things that I like about the school. So, first off, if you look at the database of accredited accredited institutions, this is a government website, and it tells you which universities are regionally accredited and which are not. And as you can see here, Southern New Hampshire University, they are accredited by the New England Commission of Higher Education. And guess what? That is a regional accreditation institution. So yes, Southern New Hampshire University is regionally accredited, which is really, really important. Regional accreditation is the highest form of accreditation. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is cost, okay? The cost of Southern New Hampshire University is actually fairly low for, for a four-year school, for 100% online school, online programs. It is actually pretty cheap, not the cheapest, okay? I will say this. It is pretty cheap for traditionally tuition structured programs, okay? Now there are a lot of programs that I talk about that offer flat rate tuition, which means you don't pay per credit. You pay for how long it takes you to graduate. SNHU does not do that. They charge you per credit, but their cost per credit is fairly low, okay? Now, as you can see here, they have listed $300, $320 per credit for undergraduate degrees, $627 per credit for graduate degrees, okay? Now, this price is about to go up. So right now, it's $320 a credit. It's going up to like $330 a credit, so not a huge deal. But what does this mean? What does $320 per credit mean? Well, here's what it means. In simple terms, it's right about $10,000 a year in tuition, just under $40,000 a year for a bachelor's degree, okay? There are a lot of schools that are a lot more expensive than that. So for traditional tuition structure, their cost per credit is pretty low. There are schools that are cheaper. Now, but they don't compare in cost to flat rate tuition schools because if you go to a flat rate tuition school that charges like, $3,500, $4,000 per semester, and you can hack the degree and graduate in one semester, it's way cheaper to do it that way. But as for cost per credit, it's fairly affordable. Now, a pro that I like, okay, 
SNHU has a lot of online programs. Okay, they've got accounting programs. They've got forensic accounting fraud examination. Like they, they've got tons. If we scroll through here, economics, <clears throat> athletic administration, biology is not online. It's on campus. They've got business degrees, like a pretty good variety of business degrees. Okay. They've got analytics. They got communication. They've got mental health and counseling. Like if we scroll through here, just look at this. Like they have, they have a huge amount of degrees to choose from. And that's one thing that I like. Okay. Graphic design, media arts, health science. This is a program that I like for like pre-med. Okay. History degrees, human services, technology. They have justice studies. Okay. Law. This is actually on campus. So they don't have, they don't have like the pre-law stuff online leadership for nonprofit organizations, management, they've got marketing. Like it just keeps going. They've long story short, they have a lot. I mean, sports management. Okay. Like they have online programs that most online schools don't have. Okay. So there's huge variety of degrees here. Okay. Now there is a huge con to this school. Okay. And it's, for me personally, it's kind of a deal breaker. Okay. But here's the thing. They do not allow you to test out of any classes or have self-paced programs within their school currently. Okay. This is called competency-based education. They used to have competency-based education programs, but as of now, those programs are on pause. Basically, they're not allowing students to enroll in those programs right now. That means if we go back to their main website, okay, you can transfer up to 90 credits. Now, some degrees, they'll have basically more lax standards for transfer credits than others. So it depends on what major you're going into. But very, very best case scenario, you would have to hack the degree outside of the college because they don't, they currently aren't accepting students into their competency-based education programs. So you'd have to do a bunch of CLEP exams and Sophia.org and study.com and straighter line and all the other sailor Academy. There, there are tons of them. Okay. You'd have to go get all these credits through third party. Okay. Then transfer them over to SNHU. Then after that, you'd have to do a minimum of one year of school, the old fashioned way. So like as a traditional student. Now, what this means is it's probably like accelerating the degree. You're probably closer to two years on the fast end to get a bachelor's degree through SNHU. Okay. If you're paying everything out of pocket, you're probably pushing $20,000. Okay. That's the fast end. Now this might change in the future because from what I've heard from the school, their competency based education programs are on hold. And what they're saying is that they're restructuring those programs. And I've tried to ask for timelines and things like that. And guess what? They won't give any information to anyone. Okay. So they're restructuring their competency based education programs and they're not currently accepting new students. And Basically, no one knows how long this restructure is going to take. And we also don't know what this restructure actually means. Does this mean it's going to be harder? Does this mean it's going to be easier? I, like, we have no idea. But as of right now, you cannot enroll into competency-based education programs at SNHU unless, okay, unless, let me see if I can find this. Here we go. They do have competency-based education programs for um, international refugees, okay? And essentially, if we go into like different degrees that they offer, they offer a BA in communications, a BA in healthcare management, and a BA in management, okay? And then an associates, uh, like an associates of science, an AS in general studies. So just these degrees only 
they are accepting students into these competency-based education programs, but these are not American students. The, like this is literally if you're a refugee from outside of the country and it's basically a program to help the world, okay? Help people that have access to no education to be able to get college degrees, which is really noble, really awesome. But for most people watching this video, this does not apply and you're not gonna be able to do that, okay? So unfortunately, no way to accelerate or have self-paced options within the school. And you have to finish at least one year of school the old fashioned way, whether it's online or on campus. So if we're summing this up, I would essentially be okay, like me personally choosing SNHU only if the exact major I wanted, there was no other accelerated, there were no other accelerated options through competency-based education programs where I could do that faster. Like, like for example, if I wanted a business degree, there are faster ways to get business degrees from schools with even better reputations for less money. Okay. But if I really needed a, a very niche degree, like I had to have a health science degree, um, to get into medical school, this might be an option. University of Wisconsin flex has another one, a, a health science degree. That's just an example though. Um, so since th that, that's like the one thing that I think does give some pull to SNHU is that they have such a huge variety of different majors, okay? So what you'll need to do is like sit down, figure out which major you need, which like what degree do you need to open the career doors you need opened? And if this is the best, fastest path, then you can do it in a couple of years, okay? But for a lot of majors, there are better and faster paths. So I hope this helps. Cost is pretty good, pretty good, not great. They're regionally accredited. They have a ton of degree options. So there are some pros. It's like, it's a legit program. They're fairly well respected. Their graduation rate is, it's like 33% from the research I've done. Let's see if we can... Fine. So 30, 33% is what Google saying. I don't know how accurate that is, but 33% essentially means there are some colleges that were, are worse than that, but there are definitely colleges that are better. It's probably somewhere in the middle as far as graduation rate goes. Um, so yeah, it's, I guess my general, I don't know if I was to give it a grade letter, it'd be maybe like a B minus or a C for accelerated programs. Okay just because they pushed pause or they ended their competency-based education programs. So you can't accelerate through the school. And that's a huge thing for me. Like I highly prefer hacking college through the schools, finding self-paced programs. And for me, when I'm choosing a school, I want a school where I can get a degree in as little as six months or less, okay? SNHU is probably closer to a couple of years. For me, that's a deal breaker unless they offer a major that I can't find anywhere else and I can't accelerate anywhere else. So I hope this helps. If you want to learn exactly how I earned a bachelor's degree in nine months, I'm going to leave a link down below in the video description. I call it my degree hacking tutorial. I'll walk you through the steps. I did it in nine months with a full-time job and a wife and kids to take care of. But yeah, I hope this video has offered value to your day. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about accelerating college degrees. Talk to you in the next video.